This video is a fix for the Phantom 3 standard range issue and the issue I've been having as well as others I've seen online is um, being unable to get a range greater than about 300 feet with and it seemed to happen somewhere after the 1.9.2 firmware update so I've already performed this fix on mine and I want to take it apart and show you what I did so you're gonna have to take out this screw here uh, these two and this one on all four wings and as well as take out these on all the landing gear and then once you've done that you can remove the landing gear and then use a small screwdriver and inside here it's not going to show on the video but if you look in there with a the flashlight you'll see a little clip and there's one on each side right about in this area so you can push your screwdriver down in there and release the clip. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. This clip's loose. Also one more thing, there are wires in there so be sure to miss those when you put your screwdriver in there. Um, so once you have those loose, there's also clips in the middle um, between the wings on each side. So I found the best way is to kind of just run your fingers along there gently and you can pop those loose. Um, also this wing here with the, uh, I believe this is a gyro in this bottom leg here. Um, the clips in this aren't very accessible so I found that if you just get these ones on the middle parts loose first then you can get these out without um, putting a screwdriver in that one. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that apart and you back. Okay so now the lid is loose. Uh, before you take it completely off there is a wire here that connects to this terminal that you'll have to disconnect. Uh, that's for the GPS. So once that's disconnected, you can remove the top lid. And the problem is under this uh, metal plate, mine's already loose, but you'll need to take a, a little plastic uh, pry tool or something like that to release it. It's just pressed on. Um, so there's a chip in here. It looks uh, just like this one and it's under right under there and so that's what seems to burn out um, after that firmware update so what we did is there is a little capacitor there that we soldered to and then we took the other end of the wire and soldered it to that capacitor there which basically bypasses that chip um, we used a little pencil soldering gun just to to do that and then uh, we were sure to uh, tin the wire first with a little solder so we just heated it up and applied solder to the wire before we uh, placed it on the board and then it just took a little heat and they soldered right to those two capacitors Uh, and that seemed to fix the issue for me. I didn't get to test the full range of it yet, but I got uh, up over a thousand feet away with no real issues. So uh, I hope this works for you. Uh, thank you.